Hello, in this video we will learn about relative and percentage rates of change. So first I would like to introduce a little bit of vocabulary. You probably already know uh, these two words especially, but I just want these two vocabulary terms. I just want to kind of refresh your memory and make sure that you do know what they mean. So rate of change is just basically the derivative. So the rate of change of a phase function is how much y changes or f of x rather. How much f of x changes as x changes. Which is also our definition of a derivative and in a linear you know, function that's the slope. But otherwise we'll call it the derivative. So that's what the rate of change is. Instantaneous rate of change, well, so the rate of change, if they ask you to estimate or I think like that, they would say the rate of change. However, instantaneous rate of change, they are asking you to get the derivative. Instantaneous rate of change is uh, finding the rate of change at a given point. Anyway, it's the rate of change. The rate of change at a given point. Very good now. So um, those are two definitions that I wanted to um, have clear. So now we have relative rate of change. So rate of change is already, already telling us that we should get the derivative. But why relative? So what relative means is that you will get the derivative. So let's say that you have q of x. That this is our f of x. So the relative rate of change of that function is dq with respect to dx over q of x. So it means that you are getting the derivative of q with respect to x and it's relative to the function itself. So what is the, um, the derivative with, uh, um, relative to the function, to the original function. So that's what relative rate of change means. It's used in real life, for example, when calculating the GDP of a, of a country. Let's say that you want to see how much a country grew. You want to see the slope or how much it's increasing by the rate of change. But however, you know that the prices and other things affect the GDP. So you need you want to know what the derivative is with respect to the function itself to know if it's more because of the prices or other things. So this is when you want to have things more in perspective and this is actually used more in um, real life problems than just the derivative itself. However it's very easy to get. We know how to get the derivative and what you, what you just have to do is after finding the derivative, divide by whatever the function is at that given point that was asked for you to get the derivative at or just by the function itself. So as a quick example, let's say that they ask you to get the relative rate of change of 4x to the 5. So we know that d that the derivative of 4x to the 5 using our rules well this is just equal to so yeah pretty bad we shouldn't have the equal here we're just trying to find the, the define the derivative and so this is equal to something and so that's equal to 4 times the derivative of x to the fifth using the power rule we know that that's just 5 times x to the 4 and we can just simplify this as 20 times x to the 4th and that's the derivative 
And so now, if we want, it, since we were asked to find the relative rate of change, so this is our derivative, and we will just divide it by the original um, function. So in this case, uh, four, uh, 20 divided by 4 is just 5, and x to the 4th divided by x to the 5 is just 1 over x. So this is our relative rate of change. Very well now, let's look at the other term we had, and that's the percentage rate of change. The percentage rate of change is just the relative rate of change represented as a percentage. So in this case, the percentage rate of change, well, we found that the, the relative rate of change to be 5 over x, so the percentage rate of change is just 500 over x percent. So this is our percentage rate of change. You know, you know that the rate of change, uh, I'm sorry, that to turn a number into a percent, you just do 100 times the number and then add the percentage sign. So that's basically it. However, if they ask you for the percentage rate of change, of course, you would only give this part right here.